Sir, I need the contraband list. Items stolen over the last year. Hang on, I'll dig out a copy for you. Here you go. Thanks. Is the cigarette case on there? It's here. Arnett must be out of his mind trying to move this while under a murder cloud. Even the engagement ring was purloined. Arnett is a cad. Julia Randall's ring. It's here. Can you drive to this one? Come on, let's give him a hand. Right behind you, Wallace, Detective Phelps. Wallace, go left. I'm going right after this little prick in the alley. Standing warrant, armed robbery. Knocked over a drugstore back there, and it looks like he brought his whole posse with him. Bad luck for them. They're all yours now. We need some information. Ever heard of a burglar goes by the name of Jimmy LeBlanc? Sure. We nabbed Jimmy on a burglary beef a couple of years back. They cut through a music shop and into a jewelry store. He got four years. I miss his partner, though. His partner? Big guy. I had him cornered, and he picked up this huge display case and threw it out a plate glass window. Then he vaulted out of there like something out of Barnum and Bailey. He got away. I would have had him, except for LeBlanc yelling, run for it, Willie. And you think he was an acrobat of some sort? More like a strong man, a wrestler, or a boxer, that kind of thing. Thanks. You've been a big help. 
and you haven't done too badly yourself. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You're suggesting LeBlanc is still working with Willie? A strong man held down Randall while someone administered the morphine. Someone with muscle opened up LeBlanc's skull. Could be. Nice house. LAPD, ma'am. Is Mrs. Evestrom in? She is. Would you follow me, sir? I am Mrs. Evestrom. How may I help you? We appear to have recovered some stolen goods that belong to you, ma'am. Yes, of course. That terrible burglary. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you, ma'am. We have some questions, if you don't mind. Why would I mind, young man? If you are returning 43 pieces of my property. Okay, before we get down to that, I'll have a scotch. Thanks, straight up. Maria, can you get the detective a drink, please? Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> A priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth So you have no idea who did this burglary. A lot of these cases tend to be inside jobs. How dare you impugn my character and the character of my staff? If you have no further questions, I suggest you leave. What can you tell us about the burglary? That terrible night, at least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. sense that you're worried about something, Mrs. Eastrom. I have already received the insurance claim, Detective. Is there any way we could keep the return of these items discreet? That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother! Hello, detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's name. The detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, darling. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? It's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out.
missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. Any ideas? Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Case. Go on, Put get your hands in the air. Give it up, LAPD.
Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. He came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? You told Heather you're hunting mooning without her? Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present from my parents. Optimistic call. Circumstantial. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. Can you prove that I'm involved, detective? Because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600, a case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties and find out where and when and then have the guests burgle. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to, to get out of that life. I was gonna marry Heather, she'd have it. 
Julia told the others that, that they were out, that she was going to create a, a new gang. You wanted Julia Randall out of your life. Why would he want that? Julia was our friend. Julia was his hump, sweetheart. They were the Bonnie and Clyde of society burglars. He met you and realized he didn't have to steal anymore. He could just mooch from you. He needed Julia out of the way. Julia was insatiable. She didn't care about anyone, not the least me. She was never going to go back to the poverty she came from. I wanted it to stop. Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. No such person, Detective. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. You can drive. I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? Should have never told you that. Doctor, they got something to make this all better. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett, and tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him, or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Prison will be better than insanity, and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? 
I ruined my life for her, and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. Didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife, or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. Didn't see that coming. God. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance on the corner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Iver Street, Hollywood. En route, Detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. That old boy really fell for that broad. She was incredible. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy? You're behind the wheel. He's around here somewhere. A big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. Get this. The kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Thinking nits as well. Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. You don't want him to bolt us.
Hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless he grew wings. There he is! Wait the son of a bitch! Son of a bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Well, you had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy! I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. 